A while ago, we spoke about mica and about synthetic mica. So I'm going to reintroduce our friends here that represent synthetic mica. These are the shards we took off our big rock earlier. And this is now the foundation of our Fiesta color group. And so just as with the interference micas that we looked at earlier, we've made a full range of interference colors using synthetic mica. Now the interesting thing is if you look at them, and here's our Fiesta satin blue, which is a small particle size, you apply that. If I compare that with our optique satin blue, it's going to be much brighter, much cleaner, much more brilliant much stronger chromaticity. And this will go across the entire product line. So we feel that the synthetic base pigments represent truly an innovation that the industry should embrace much more. And there's many reasons for that. One of the great advantages of using our Fiesta synthetic pigments is actually due to some regulatory anomalies that are in the, in the marketplace. Years back when the FDA was setting their regulations for color use, the FDA set a limit on how large mica particles could be. And that limit was 150 microns. And unfortunately, that limit severely restricts the formulator in getting the full effect of what our pigments can provide. What has happened in the industry is many companies have, deci have dec chosen, well, if mica is limited to 150, everything should be limited to 150. And that's simply not the case. And quite frankly, it dramatically limits your toolbox. So we recommend that you use the full range of colors. And some of the discussions we'll have down the road will demonstrate how you can utilize them by going to larger particles material using our synthetic Fiesta uh, line, you can get far greater drama, chromaticity, sparkle, and effect in your product. This gives you something that you couldn't do before the synthetic and glass-based pigments were introduced. And they're fully approved and quite safe for use and have been used in, in, in very dramatic fashion since their introduction. One other aspect of our Fiesta line, the fact that we make the synthetic mica gives us much greater control. A few years back, one of the industry watchdog groups suggested that there was lead in lipstick. This created great fear. In fact, my own daughter came home and was terrified, told my wife to get rid of every lipstick she had. Well, is it real? Is it, is it fact or is it fiction? Well, the fact is you can run some evaluations and you can find lead in lipstick. That sounds terrifying. Well, how much lead? As it turns out, it's about one part per billion. Now, the FDA says you can have up to 20 parts per billion in a cosmetic. Food and Drug Administration says you can only have one part per billion, however, in a food. So our consumer watchdog groups have used the one part per billion food regulation and have quietly applied it to the cosmetics, creating enhanced fear. Further, there's different ways to measure heavy metals in something like mica. There's the bioavailable digestive method, and there's the full digestion method. In the bioavailable digestion method, we're taking hydrochloric acid, we're dissolving our products and identifying how much lead is in the product. And we'll get extremely low levels. In the full digestion method, we'll take hydrofluoric acid, 
and dissolve everything there is. And there you may, in natural mica, get slightly higher numbers. So the Consumer Watchdog Group has done the full digestion method, applied the standard standards based on food rather than cosmetic and created a fear that had my daughter terrified. The reality is that, that mica in its natural form is a rock. And I'll be a little indelicate. If it goes in a rock, it's coming out the same way. Is there a fear factor of lead in lipstick? Is it real? No. Is there lead in lipstick? We just went over that topic. However, the consumer is king. So many people are seeking to minimize the amount of mica that they have, minimize the amount of natural mica they have in their lipstick formulations. And our Fiesta line provides a fantastic solution to that dilemma. So we invite you to consider our synthetic micas as your primary colors in your lip care products. What's the maximum size then of these Fiesta products? We have our Fiesta products where, where they have particle sizes up to 350 microns which gives a very, very dramatic, elegant sparkle. And this is one of the ways that you can take our Fiesta line and create a much more dramatic pop, a much more elegant look in your lipsticks that is completely unavailable in the Mica product line. So the large particle pigments really offer a very unique advantage plus a much greater, higher level of chromaticity. Thank you. Here we're offering an excellent selection of our interference colors, including our green, our gold, our violet, our red, our blue. All of these are available in a wide variety of, of sizes with wonderful chromaticity and impact.